So, hi. Uh, we are Glimpse, an art collective based in Sweden, in Stockholm, here. And uh, these are my colleagues, Nadia Ekman, Malou Bergman, and Matthias Larsson. And I'm uh, Alvaro Campo. So, uh, we would like to start here this um, speech with a, a phrase, the ritual's purpose is to break away from the rational mind into a space where intuition becomes the driving force. So, oh, I was, I had some things here prepared as well because this, and while I was looking for my flower here, I also found a hammer. And now I had to decide, will I use the flower? Will I use the hammer? So I think I'll use the flower. I'll leave the hammer here for today. So what we do with Glimpse, we would like to think of it as a more modern form of ritual, where we set up a photo studio, we stage it, we put it, uh, we've done this in many places, in museums, in galleries, in festivals, and we invite the viewer to become part of the art. So the viewer comes in, participates, helps to create a costume, and becomes part of what is the product, and that's the art, and some of it you can see here, and these are all people that have participated in, in, our, uh, in our events. So now, uh, the studio is always based on three principles, interactivity, recycling, and playfulness. So interactivity because the viewer comes in and participates. Recycling because we use old material and we use leftover material, what people might call trash, and secondhand outfits, and things that we find on the street in the garbage and create, give them, give a new meaning to them. And playfulness because we would like to take the pressure off of the creative process so that um, to be able to experience joy of creating and not having to feel that, oh, I have to create something good. Right that I think a lot of people feel that, and even myself as an artist, sometimes it's very difficult not to feel it. So now I'll show you some pictures that we've created. You've seen some that are there. And um, if you could take the light down a bit, thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to continue to talk while I leave this, ba this in the background. And uh, you can have a look at the slideshow while I continue. So all of us can remember um, being children and switching roles and games and becoming a policeman or a robber or a mom or dad or a dog and so on and switching uh, very fluidly from one identity to another. Now when we grow up, and uh, uh, evolve a little more and our identities become more and more fixed and we become a little bit stuck in our, identi our identities, sorry. So, how does this happen? From the beginning, uh, a child is born and needs an identity. An identity is sort of a platform to, to communicate with uh, the group or the environment around, sort of like on Facebook when you make your profile, you create an identity. Well, we start to create that in the beginning. And when uh, this identity evolves, we take on roles and these roles uh, give us positions in the groups, in our family group, in our social environment, and probably in our professional environment. And we start to identify with these roles. And that's where the problem comes. When we start to identify with these roles, it's more and more difficult to leave them behind. So this is what Glimpse plays with. Let me give you uh, a little example. When a policeman 
is down on the street and for instance I'm driving my car and um, I immediately slow down because I associate to the policeman's appearance and I associate and I think oh I must be doing something wrong and the policeman is looking at me and he's thinking make, I'll make sure that these people don't do anything wrong and um, that's what happens our behaviors become conditioned by our appearance and by our roles. So what happens is that, um, like Edna says, said today, um, the, the, the appearance or the first impression uh, is uh, very important and is not necessarily the truth, but we often become stuck in that. So let me see, give you another picture here of what happens when uh, Matthias, my colleague, meets uh, a policeman. So what happens there? Suddenly, the policeman uh, becomes thrown out of his role. And uh, absurdity comes in. And absurdity is a wonderful thing because absurdity breaks the roles, breaks our behaviors. There is no pattern for us to react to absurdity. We don't know what's happening. Suddenly it's absurd and it's an improvised moment. So what I would like to do now is to come back to this uh, phrase here from the beginning. And it's the ritual's purpose is to break away from the rational mind into a space where intuition becomes the driving force. And if we apply this to the Glimpse uh, Mobile Studio then, I would say that the purpose of the Glimpse Mobile Studio is to break away from identity into a space where creativity becomes the driving force. And so this leaves us with a question. If all these identities of ours, yeah, that's right. Please welcome them here. So if all these roles are interchangeable and uh, we can switch from one role to another and uh, costume to another, so uh, who is it that we really are inside? And well, through this art project, we would like to, we, our hope would, like, would be that uh, we would be able to experience, even if it's just for a short instant, a glimpse of what this may be. These are my colleagues. Again, Malu Bergman, photographer. Nadia Ekman, photographer. And uh, Matthias Larson, sculptor. There you go. And I work mostly with video. Thank you. <laughs>